overall i think that high foot did a really really good job on this shoe what do you guys think yo guys what is going on it is your walk sauce i'm back with another review today i got a couple of packages with tracking numbers that actually i hadn't received yet so i'm not sure what i'm unboxing but if i do end up knowing what it is based off my notes then i'll put everything in the description and we'll go from there um, let's get right into the unboxing I think I do know what this is now. Um, let's go ahead and get it out of the packaging and make sure. All right, so there it is, fresh out of the packaging. Let's go ahead and take a look at the label and see what this is. White and blue. So the label does look good in terms of the spacing and text. We do have a flappy USD tag and just a standard Air Jordan 1 box. I do think this is the Hyper Royal, so let's go ahead and take off the lid and check. Already I'm seeing some nice things. I see a Nike um, receipt here, and then I see a StockX tag. Uh, and yes, this is the Hyper Royal from High Foot. So there you have it. We got our tag, and then there's probably gonna be another sticker somewhere in here. All right, so here's a first look at it. It is looking quite beautiful. I must say we do have a spare lace that is uh, dark blue and then the white lace is the one that's already in there. So we'll just do a quick spin around and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the details on the other shoe. This is looking really, really nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other one and put everything aside. All right, so here's a first look at the shoe outside of the box. As you can see, Highfoot did a really, really good job. Again, some people in my Discord always ask me if this and this and this are flaws, um, and that is not a flaw, so no worries there. Um, the Air Jordan logo is looking really nice, and again, the stitching on this side is just flawless. Moving on to the toe box, as you can see, the holes are printed perfectly. There is no discrepancy, and the stitching all around the toe box is looking good as well. Moving on to the inside, you can see that the stitching is perfect on this side as well. So a huge shout out to High Foot. Um, again, an Air Jordan 1 isn't too hard to replicate. You just have to take time and make sure that it is a good pair. Um, moving on to the back, we do have a nice hourglass shape. So that does look good. And taking a look at the tongue, it does look like the spacing is correct. And we'll take a look at the inside here. All the printing is even, so and as well as the stitching, so that's really good. And then we have a gray outsole, and that also looks nice, just very standard. Overall, I think that High Foot did a really, really good job on this shoe. What do you guys think? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below, leave a like, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Anyways, I won't hold you for any longer. It's Walk Sauce. Peace.